Tremendously talented people. Like if you think you're cool and good at stuff here, and you go there, <laughs> it'll put your ego in check. In the four days we were back preparing for our coming home show, we wrote four new tunes, and they're just coming out like right now, like nothing else, you know, like air. I think, I think on the road is more learning the culture, learning their music, and then coming back here and then integrating it into our own music. So we didn't. We were down there not really writing new music. We're just like taking in as much as we could. And then we got back here, tried to put it out in our music a little bit. We went down with the prerogative of going to Altamira, which is a town in the state of Pará in the north of Brazil, where they're building a massive hydroelectric dam, one of the biggest in the world. And um, Brazil's starved for energy right now, so a lot of people think the dam is cool, but what it does is it floods a large portion of the town and also cuts off a vast amount of tribes on the Shinga River. And... Uh, so we kind of went to get both sides of that issue and found a lot of people standing in homes that are going to be flooded and wondering what they're going to do with their lives and where to go. And so that was a really heavy time. We, we brought cameras and we documented the whole thing. And, um, and we went to visit some tribes on the actual Shingu River and we got to stay a few nights. We went six hours east by boat and disappeared in this tiny little settlement on the side of the river and got to play soccer with them and they totally crushed us <laughs> 12 to 2 or something like that because it's all they do aside from hunt effortlessly <laughs> and uh, so that really blasted us and uh, we tried to document as much of that as we could and then we pulled out of there and went to Salvador for Carnival. We were there three weeks on the beach and then we went down to Rio for about a month and that's where we studied the most music and and played the best shows and then we came home. The 
narrative, it's pretty interesting because we, we flew into the, a jungle town essentially and we had to pay to rent gear to play our first show. So I think we dished out like $300 in rental fees to play our first show at a restaurant outside on the street. And then our last show is a packed venue for like 600 people. Uh, basically we're just going to tour the shit out of uh, BC all summer. And then uh, we'd like to go head down south to the States in the fall and track an album kind of into summer. If you're going to get down in the you know thing, get down all the way. And if there are people behind you who aren't getting down, get them to get down all the way. Yeah. And if people get that message, then it'll go all the way to the back and then the whole field will jump and it'll just look cooler. Exactly. That's my message to Yes. Fans. I mean, you're doing good, but you can still step up your game. <laughs> Love, life, harmony, you know, that's another message. And also, uh, less struggle, more snuggle. So with those things, carry them on into your lives and go for it. Me gusta having sex and drinking. Me gusta tú. Ajá, ajá. 